Vintage Cards 2020 back again, and this time I picked up some more 54s. Uh, I'll start off the video with the two Hall of Famers, just in case people don't want to see all the commons, but I don't think I showed all the commons, so if I did, I apologize, but um, I don't think I've shown any of these. But uh, first, we're going to start off with Duke Snyder, 1954 Tops. It is uh, near mint or better. I bought it as near mint, mint plus or whatever, but I knew it wasn't that. <clears throat> I figured it was going to be near mint. The pictures indicated that it was near mint and I bought it for a near mint price. So I'm happy with it. Um, centering's not too bad. It's got a little bit of a tilt to it, but the condition of the card is great. It's uh, for sure near mint. Uh, I'll show the back of this one. Uh, I won't show the back of every single one, but there we go. Uh, very light um, edge wear little corner ding very minor on the bottom left but the front is a lot better than the back the back shows a little bit of wear the front I mean the front looks close to mint but obviously it's not it's got just a tad bit of issues uh, top edge has just a tiny bit of wear but yeah that's a near mint card for sure and then I picked up a uh, Richie Ashburn Another near mint. Uh, I think that was listed as near mint, and yeah, it is. Nice looking card. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these commons now. Dip my toes in the 54s. I got 38 now. Well, I will have 38 after Christmas. I got, my girlfriend got me one, a Hall of Famer that's graded. And I will leave it in the SGC slab. There's Bob Ross, near mint. Uh, the 56s, I don't, I, I take them out. That's just the way I'm doing the 56s. 54s, I'm gonna leave in. <clears throat> There's another near mint plus card. And I just, I just like doing it that way. Um, There's Dwayne Pillett, near mint mint. So 54 is gonna take me a little bit longer. Um, looking at some 56s so I might pull the trigger on some of those so maybe next week I might have another one another video Sam Nelly uh, near mint mint here's a near mint plus Dick Schofield I was reading on the back that Schofield he Signed right out of high school and got a $60,000 bonus. That'd be a nice paycheck in 1954. There's a near mint Dave Jolly. Lou Limmer. I was reading on the back of that card. He broke his neck. And he went blind for a few days because of it. And then he came back and... I don't know how long he played, but... Played at least a couple years. Near Mint, Lou Glimmer. L. Aber, Near Mint. Bobby Hoffman. Uh, Bobby Hoffman actually played uh, minor league ball right across the river from me. I, I didn't even know that, uh, that... Well, I knew they had a team, but I didn't know that the, that team went back that far. But apparently that team went all the way back to the like 1900 but Bobby Hoffman played kind of in my city it's connected you know, we've got two cities connected by the river or separated by the river it's Chuck Stobbs near mint mint Ted Klazuski near mint I think it was listed as near mint plus it might be he had like three year stretch where he was hitting 40 homers, over 100 RBIs, and batting over 300. Like, he went nuts for a few years and then he dropped off. There's Jack Dittmer. Near Mint Mint. Beautiful Junior Gilliam. Near Mint card. Love that. The blue just pops off there from the white. 
and near mint mint andy pafco so that's it take care